this was the problem that its display was not working but now it started working normally now it's backed up ready to test friends welcome back to my channel EMCP 4.4 its display was not working I completed the troubleshooting procedure in last video and I explored this diode here U1J SMD diode short circuit and one tantalum capacitor damaged for test purpose I installed equivalent value components unluckily I could not find these components in local market here because these components are not commercially available. Today I will explain how we can select an exact equivalent number and how we can find it easily. We can select equivalent but its availability that is a question mark. After installing that components we will pack it up. Actual component part number U1 chain and I installed FUF4005 instead of this rectifier it will work normally but I think that will much better to install same SMD components let's see data sheet for U1J SMD you need that one U1 And if you see its package style, its width is 2.76 millimeter. In length, it is 4.78 millimeter. It is DO214 AC package. Its part number is MURS160 or SMAU1J. We can select any one number. Repetitive peak reverse voltage 600 volt. Average forward current 1 ampere. And maximum recovery time that is 75 nanoseconds. So we need to select some equivalent number. Because it is switching rectifier, fast switching rectifier. So fast switching rectifiers are used in LED drivers, in power supplies, LED bulbs. You can find any cheapest LED driver. There are many damaged LED drivers. You can select any one. And it is connected in output side. You can find this rectifier in mobile chargers, in spotlights, in LED bulbs. If you see this diode ES1J. This is ES1J, it is also DO214 AC package, same package which we need, SMA package, SMA is also DO214 AC and it is also super fast rectifier 600 volt 1 ampere and its part number is ES1J. ES1J data sheet. Yes, it is SMA, DO214AC package, these are measurements, 4.6 mm long and 2.9, from 2.5 to 2.9 mm in width, ES1J, 1 ampere 600 volt, 75 nanosecond, that is recovery time, here is 
वन एम पी एयर सिक्स हंड्रेड वोल्ट ई एस वन जे एंड रिकवरी टाइम मैक्सिमम रिवर्स रिकवरी टाइम थर्टी फाइव नाइव सेकेंड दैट्स एक्सीडेंट नाउ आई विल यूज ई एस वन जे रेक्टिफायर I will use this 47 microfarad 50 volt capacitor. As we know, our required capacitor, pentalum capacitor, 15 microfarad, 50 volt. Its ESR value must be less than 200 milli ohms. And I will select now this 47 micro 50 volt. And I will check its ESR value. If it is in acceptable range, then we will use it. Otherwise, I will select the other one. Its ESR is 16.3 ohms, so I will not use this one. So this capacitor is not good. I will check another one. It's also 47 microfarad, 50 volt. Yes. That's good. Its ESR value is 0.1 ohm, so we will use this one. I will use this 47 microfarad capacitor, 50 volt, because its capacitance is high. Original capacitor was 15 microfarad, but now 47. When I am increasing the capacitance size, it will decrease the output ripples. When we are installing an electrolyte capacitor. in place of tantalum capacitor take care for the polarity this negative polarity will connected here because in tantalum capacitor this side is negative and this bar side is positive side this is positive this is negative 
so we will connect bar side opposite to this capacitor Thirty three positive, seventy two ground. Yes, now good. Now we will pack it up. Now we need to clean the PCB using IPA, isopropyl alcohol, or separate or any cleaning solvent contact cleaner.
carefully insert the pins in the holes and never apply excessive force. If there is any pin missing, remove the PCB and insert it carefully. Sometimes I receive question that why I am not using soldering paste in the soldering because I am using flux core solder. We will solder in one line so that no pin will be missed. Heat up pin and joint and allow solder to flow nicely.
now all the joints are shining and there is no dull contact there is no dull joint any soldering joint having a bubble uh, it is done that soldering point must be removed and resoldered now the soldering is good
पिन नंबर थर्टी थ्री पॉजिटिव पिन नंबर सेवेंटी टू ग्राउंड Yes, now the controller turned on. This was the problem that its display was not working. But now it started working normally. Now it's backed up, ready to test. It is now responding to all keys, functions. Everything is now good. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumb up. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.